What's up, Word Nerds? It is Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. Welcome to Puzzle With Me. My name is Lawrence, and I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword by Joseph Ganji? Gan Ganji? Gangi? Joseph. JG. Uh, if you want to follow along, you can see the, the clues I'm looking at highlighted in blue to the left of the grid. Uh, one across is duck. One down. High-rise units. Abbreviated. Maybe apartments. Uh, blank Parmigiana. Uh, hmm. Not sure what that is. Like many a barrel aged wine. Maybe oaky. Rocks in a tumbler's ice. Molds, for example. I'm not sure about that. Duck is maybe a void. Uh, is this like veal? Is this sly? Strategically evasive is sly. Maybe it's veal. Uh, word of leave taking. Peace? Like, peace out, maybe? And 17 across, duck again. Is this gonna be like, um, hmm, duck, duck, goose? <laughs> uh, let's see, molds, I'm not sure there. Six across, imaginary ordinal, nth, maybe? Uh, henceforth, I know, henceforth, I will be Romeo. It's, it's like, that's a quote when he's like saying, okay, if, if my name is a problem, then I will, I, I won't be Romeo anymore, right? Isn't that what it is? I think that's what this quote is. So it's maybe like, no no more or something like that swing i don't know this uh keep close to one's heart keep close to one's heart take care of no hmm no harm no foul swing something uh duck take cover oops take cover I never will be Romeo. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, swing era. Yes, okay. Keep close to one's heart. Um, treat. I don't know. It's mind. All mind. That's or. That's cute. Uh, hand out for a walking tour. Hand out for a walking tour. What do they hand out in a walking tour? Molds, for example. Hmm, okay. Nine across. Duck. Interesting. Another duck. It's gotta be duck, duck, goose, right? Duck. Laceless shoes. Slip-ons, maybe? Uh, what a flat beef palm facing a nearby fellow stands for an ASL. What a flat B palm facing a nearby fellow stands for. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, pick sharing app informally is Insta. The second R in JRR Tolkien? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, prepare to proof in baking. Prepare to proof. What does proof mean in baking? I have no idea. Duck, uh, tablecloths and napkins, maybe linen. It could be a problem. It could be a problem. Hmm. Cozy spot. Cozy spot. Hmm. And, ooh, another duck. Howard duck? Is it Howard? It is capital D. Maybe it's Howard. I think his name... I know it's Howard the Duck, but I think his name was actually Howard Duck. Also. Oh, area map. There we go. That P helps. Uh, it's... Uh, it's... A head? It's... Oh, maybe it's, it's a date. Maybe it's not uh, Howard Duck. Donald, <laughs> of course. 
much more likely. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's a date. We're on. There we go. Uh, let's see. What could this be? So I'm sure it starts with R. Regal? Re mm. Duck. Skirt? Oops. Is this like... Kin or kid? Prepare to... Oh, maybe it's not skirt. Duck. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Mike of Shrek is Myers. Treasure for hold dear to your heart. Heavenly prefix. Oh, interesting. Your hmm. Tampa Bay Pro. Tampa Bay. Uh, what is? Oh God, I'm so bad with sports. <laughs> I'm so bad with sports. Examine his eye. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with sports. Sorry, guys. Oh, I just can't think. Big snarl. Shoot. Molds are decays. Total disarray. A mess, maybe. Butterfly also called a common tiger or wanderer. Maybe it's not a mess. Um, monarch. Chaos is total disarray. Street cred is rep. What to call a man in Mannheim air? Like cheese puffs and rice cakes. Airy is his rain. Attachment for a bit is rain. Print oopses is errata. And wet wood woe dry rot. It's a fun clue. Wet wood woe. Indir <laughs> for some reason, I want to say that in a British accent just when I look at it. Wet wood woe. Indirect confrontation. Hmm and used as a dining surface. Hmm. Average mark is a C, like that, I guess. Toe, toe to toe. And another duck, for example, used as a dining service. Perpetual, never ending, no, non stop, non stop. This doesn't look right, does it? Oh, maybe like rat sneer? Is that a thing? Bay pro. Oh, geez. A ray? Tampa Bay rays? God, I hope that's right. Uh, be in a mood and brood. List ender at all. Uh, transmit. Emit. In a bad mood. Stew. Opening on Christmas Eve. Maybe not. Something's wrong here. Okay, largest lake in Ethiopia, nope. Has in hand, holds. Opening on Christmas Eve. And what's this, transmit. Something seems wrong, doesn't it? Transmit, maybe send? Opening on Christmas Eve. Oh, a rat's nest is a big snarl. It's gotta be twos, but I don't get, opening on Christmas Eve, twos.
Does that make sense? I, I mean, I don't know what else TW blank S could be. It's gotta be twos, right? But I just don't know. I don't get it. Uh, okay, lightning strike is a zap. Oops. Uh, scene of pandemonium. Scene of pandemonium. Hmm. Chance of a lifetime, say. <sighs> okay. The duck variations playwright. I have no idea. Mexican pal is amigo. There we go. Something I do know. And uh, another duck. Something a duck lays is an egg. Duck. Duck variations. Playwright. Okay, 46 down. Fine. Stay angry then. Be mad. Uh, mission to remember in San Antonio is the Alamo. Skittish is something. Duck, for example, is a bath toy. There we go. Used as a dining service is eight on, of course. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Uh, cotton gin inventor Whitney is Eli. Timid for skittish, a uh, mammoth. And duck is dodge, there we go. Okay, it's a lifetime. Cis and, cis and das. I don't know what language that is. Hmm. It's a lifetime. Editors forget I wrote that. Stet, I think. Uh, sanctified. Holy, maybe? Ah, uh, yes, this is one shot. Chance of a lifetime is one shot. Holy, that's that's like a missed opportunity to put Eminem lyrics in there. I mean, why not? Uh, scene of pandemonium. I don't know what that is. Coat room fixture, hat, hat. Rack, hat, hook, hat, something. Okay, another duck. Conger for one is an eel. Pig pen is a sty. Ye yeah, I don't know what this is. Duck. Okay, 55 across. Raphael's weapon and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are size, but I, I'm not, I can't remember how to spell it. I think it's maybe like that. Sigh. Musician's chance to shine as a solo. Whoops. Yeah. Flabbergasts or gobsmacks, Oz. And memo subject header in regards to Swiss, Swiss author of Elements of Algebra, probably Euler. Bugs and Daffy in the Iceman Ducketh duo. Duck Duck followers, Goose, there it is. Hat pegged. Uh, duck, stoop down. Oh, the zoo. Oh, God, I don't know why I couldn't think of zoo either. What is going on with me there? Cease and das. Oh, it's two different, like, for some reason I thought maybe cease was, uh, cease and das were numbers, and it was those two together is a new number. Those are yeses. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so the duck, duck, goose theme is complete, but we do need to still figure out the ending of this. What a flat B <clears throat> palm facing a nearby fellow stands for. And duck. Um, duck. Prepare to proof in baking. Need. It's got to be need. Smirk? Smirk doesn't seem right, does it? Shirk. Sure. Shirk's, yes, Shirk. Oh, maybe it's him. Or his. Issue, it could be a problem. There we go. And, whoa, what is this name? Cozy Spot is a... Cozy Spot. What? Cozy spot. T? A 
spot of tea. Is this wrong? Oh man, I'm gonna have to, uh, I think, do this two days in a row. I don't like to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut and come back later. See you in a second. Well, there you have it, folks. Once again, I was not able to do it without cheating and asking the computer for help. Um, as you can see here by the black square, this is where uh, I had to ask for help. I just could not think of what this was. Well, actually, I um, what I actually did was I checked the entire puzzle to see where I had something wrong. After I put in issue and T, I just checked I just had it show me what, what was wrong. And the O here was wrong. And then once I saw that, then I realized it's twas the night before Christmas, of course. And so this is Tana, like Tana. Um, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. My brain isn't working properly today. There's a lot of things that I should have seen earlier that I didn't today um, or things. Uh, not first and foremost being the layout of this grid, I didn't even, honestly, until I stopped the video earlier and took, took a break for a minute, that was the first time that I noticed the, sh the shape of these black squares in the middle of this grid uh, in the shape of a duck. I, I like just completely missed that when I was going through the puzzle just because I was so focused on the clues. Um, I got to remember some, like I, I've missed a few things like that sometimes, um, <laughs> until like after the puzzle, I got to remember once I open these puzzles to just like take a moment and actually look at the puzzle. Um, cause that, that's pretty cool that they put like, there's so much duck themed stuff in here. And then <laughs> on top of that, to have the shape of a duck, uh, just in the middle of the grid with black squares, it's just kind of cute and fun. This is a cute puzzle today. There's some cute stuff in here. Um, I do like wet wood woe. Um, and then, you know, just the very last clue, the, or at least the last across um, clue, the, the last numbered clue um, in the uh, in the grid, or last numbered answer in the grid to be goose um, at the very end is just a, a nice cap on top. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's not a puzzle that uh, I think is gonna win any awards. But it's good and it's fun and it's just cute. It's just a cute one. This is a cute one today. Um, not outstanding in any way, but just like one that just kind of makes you smile. And there's nothing wrong with that. I like it. Um, like some, some tricky things in here, some unusual things and tricky things, but um, overall it was pretty smooth. Just uh, I just I, my brain's not in it today urano urano i'd never heard of this prefix i didn't know it meant heavenly um i guess that's where we get uranus also the the planet i don't know but very interesting um so yeah that's it for me today i hope you all have a wonderful day i will be back tomorrow to do the thursday puzzle so do please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you can uh, come back and join me tomorrow when that video comes up and um, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. That helps me out and I appreciate it. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.